Hello friends, welcome to lesson number three or tutorial number three for Adobe After Effects. Uh, in this lesson, like I promised, I'll teach you how to create compositions. Now, compositions are a very important part of any project that you're working on. In one project, you could have several compositions or you could just have one composition with all the layers and all the footages. It depends on how you want to create your project. It's very easy to create a composition. All you need to do is go to composition and new composition. The moment you do that, you would get options. You know, the first one is, of course, naming your composition. So maybe you could put any of the names. I'll just write my name for now. Um, and then the next one is presets. If you click on the drop down arrow, you would see that there are already existing presets which you can select from depending on how your video would be used. So if you're planning to use your video on, on a website, you can select the web video. If you plan to use it on one of the TV formats, you can select one of the TV uh, presets. If you plan to use it or distribute it on a DVD or uh, you know disc, you can select from one of the DVD options or you can even select the HDTV full. And if you're actually making a film, like in Hollywood, you would select one of these options at the bottom. But what we would do is just leave it as the default for now and come back to our, uh, our composition settings window. Now you would see the next one is width and the height. Um, if you take your mouse to the to the value it would change into a finger icon and you can then click and move the icon left or right to increase or decrease the values same thing you could do with the height you can increase or decrease the values if you remove the checkbox here you can increase or decrease the values of single item but if the uh, if the lock aspect ratio is checked then if you move anything the bottom one or the height or if you move the width the height would also move and vice versa um, the other the other way of changing them is if you know exactly the same exactly the dimensions you can actually click on it once and type in the dimensions and whatever you type uh, you know proportionately that would change then we have the pixel aspect ratio now um, this is something that we'll be talking about uh, you know in in later uh, videos but just to give you an overview um, you might have noticed that some of the videos they are taller but le you know the the width is smaller and um, um, you know, on the other hand, if there are if there are videos which are wider but not as taller, the aspect ratio would be different. So if you if you if you select any of the widescreen formats, you would see that the width would be wider and the height would be less, or it would not be as tall. Most of the YouTube videos are a perfect example of wide you know wider videos instead of tall videos. Uh, tall videos you would mostly see on shopping malls and you know uh, maybe airports where you have like tall screens playing the videos. Um, one good example is the London tube. You know, when you go down the tube, you would see um, these videos are played. They are basically taller, not as wide. The frame rate is basically how many frames would you have in a second. So if, if there was one second, would there be 30 frames in the second or 20 or 10 or even 100? It depends on, you know, how you want to set the frame rate. Resolution is again, you know, what how you want the resolution to be. So if you wanted a full resolution, a half, a third, or a quarter, depending on what kind of you know uh, clarity and resolution you would want, and then uh, you would see this duration of the video. You can set this duration to anything you would want. Um, so the way it is displayed is hours, minutes, seconds, and then frames. So if I wanted a video which was uh, you know five hours, I would write five zero 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 zero. But as of now, it is set to one minute and twenty. I can change that easily to five five minutes and change the 20 seconds to zero zero seconds I can even write the number of frames so if I wanted a video which was uh, you know a fraction of a second I can just put in the number of frames I would want in that and you can also select the background color if you want it to be white black blue any color you would like and click on OK that's basically it the moment you do that it would create a composition for you um, we named it Winnie which is why you would see the composition is called Winnie here um, so um, the mistake that I did is I created this composition on inside one of the other uh, compositions that was available. But anyways, doesn't matter. Now, within a composition, you would see that there can be several other compositions. I'll show you an example on, on the main one here that, I, that we had on our uh, project already. You would see there are several other compositions like scene 1, scene 2, and like I said in the previous videos, one project can have several compositions, and I've created these scenes and added them together in one main composition so all of these put together will make my video perfect more or less like the movie you create different scenes you shoot them at different times 
But when you when you join them together, they make one perfect movie or one perfect video. Um, when you double click on any of the compositions in uh, in the composition view window, you would see it would open up uh, another window for that composition particularly. And you can change and play around with the layers in this composition to to make basically make sure that this composition is perfect before you add it to your main or the final composition. In the next videos, we would be learning about uh, other important stuff. For example, I would be telling you in the next uh, in the next tutorial or the next video uh, how we can work about how we can work on you know um, timeline, how we can change timelines, increase or decrease timelines, um, and how we can get, basically import a couple of pictures and work on those pictures. Keep watching the videos, and if you like the videos, don't forget to uh, subscribe or uh, you know leave your comments, and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you in lesson number four. Cheers.